This is the Louis T Network. Who else could it be but me, your me, Louis T? Well, to the 2018 NFL playoffs coverage here on the Louis T Network. Your man Louis T has you covered like a blanket. Thank you for joining me on this preview and prediction video for the Patriots hosting the Tennessee Titans, your number five seed Tennessee Titans in the AFC playoffs, taking on the number one overall seeded uh, New England Patriots in the AFC conference in the divisional round of the postseason. The nightcap, the doubleheader nightcap on Saturday, getting things kicked off in divisional uh, round weekend. And so this was a game that I didn't expect uh, to happen. Uh, I, I fully expected Kansas City to find a way to beat the Titans. And I expected Jacksonville to take care of Buffalo, which they did. It wasn't pretty, but it was gritty and a W. Nonetheless, I expected the Chiefs to be in this game. I expected the Chiefs to be giving the Patriots all that they could handle um, would, would, would this have been for the second consecutive year, I believe? I remember last year, I felt like the Chiefs gave the Patriots all that they could handle, and then they destroyed the Patriots in week one of the season, so it would have been a nice matchup, similar to the Saints and the Vikings, a, a, a rematch of week one and two teams who played in the first week of the season to see if we could get a different outcome. And um, I was looking forward to seeing that because the Chiefs know how to play the New England Patriots. They've done it a number of times. And I was looking forward to that being a good football game. Instead, we got the Titans coming back from an 18-point deficit at halftime to rally and win 22-21 to over the Chiefs on the road. Marcus Mariota getting his first career playoff victory in very epic fashion. And, and because of that, uh, here we are. Number five seeded Tennessee Titans traveling to Foxborough to take on the New England Patriots who have a, a ton of controversy uh real or not real um surrounding them going into this football game it, it, all of that is just noise for the patriots they're gonna put that stuff aside and look i told you when i did my video on the whole trouble in patriot ice um uh situation and, and what i thought some of it is real some of it is is make-believe some of it is uh conjured up things for a story some of that stuff is legit and there are some issues. Look, Bill Belichick and Tom Brady were never best of friends, nor have they ever sworn to be, but they know how to win. They know how to put any differences that they may have aside and get it done. And I fully expect them to continue to do that. Uh, let's talk about the Patriots and what it's going to take for them to get the win and move on to the championship game again. Seems like they're there every year. Even the years they don't make it to the Super Bowl, it's rare that the Patriots aren't one of the two participants in the AFC Championship game. Fully expect them to do it yet again um, in this particular game. But nonetheless, to me, the, the, the Titans have been one of the stronger run defenses all season long. Dick LeBeau has his guys barking up front in that front seven, stopping a run and being relentless there. Some of that does have to do with the fact that the Titans aren't great in pass defense. And so uh, why bang your head up against a brick wall when you can just throw it against them? And, and so that's been the um, mode of operation for teams facing the Titans this year. Is, Look, we're going to throw it. You know, we're not going to waste our time running the football, even though the Chiefs had success last week running the football. And for some reason that I can't explain, they stopped. In any event, the Patriots have done a great job down the stretch of running the football. Deion Lewis has been a revelation. And look, we all knew Deion Lewis was good. And the only thing that had been stopping him has been injuries. And now that he's healthy, he's running the football effectively. They've got a run game. And it seems like the Patriots do this every year, whether it, it was Le Garrett Blunt in the past or now Deion Lewis. They formulate a run game. They piece together a run game to give them the, the level of balance that they need in case they need to run it. 35 times in a game, they can't. I don't see that being the case in this particular game, but it may arise later on in the postseason that they may need to run it down a team's throat, i.e. Pittsburgh, who with no Shazier all of a sudden looks slow on defense, may be able to run it on the Steelers the second time around. Again, both teams have to win and get there. But nonetheless, 
look, this is one of those Tom Brady games. If the Titans can't get to Brady, knock him down, make him uncomfortable, get him off his spot, and get him flustered, he's going to pick that secondary apart. And they've got all their weapons, all hands on deck. Obviously, no Julian, Julian Edelman. He's been gone all season. So um, it, just, it bears mentioning for when I say all hands on deck, everyone that's played this season is available to Brady in this football game. Gronk is healthy, um, which normally this time of the year, that's not the case. Well, he's healthy. He's ready to go. Um, Brandon Cooks, everybody that they need is ready, rearing to go. And I, I just don't see this Titans defense having an answer for Brady unless they can generate pressure, which I don't know if they can do or not. But if they can, it wouldn't shock me if Deion Lewis catches a screen or pops a run for 25 in this game and has a couple of nice chunk plays because I saw the Chiefs be able to do it. So I think that they can have success running, uh, not as much, but I think they're going to have success throwing the football, which is what's going to ultimately be the demise of the Titans in this football game from a defensive standpoint. You know I don't love the Patriots. Matt Patricia is moving on. So in effect, he's coaching his final games as Patriots defensive coordinator. And so we'll see where his head is and if he's still locked into the job and task at hand as he's either going to become the head coach of the New York Giants or the Detroit Lions. First rumors coming out was he's going to be the Lions' next head coach. Now rumors are circling and surfacing that he's going to be the Giants' head coach. One thing's for sure, he's going to be someone's head coach, no longer a Patriots assistant after this season is done. Is he still focusing on, in on the task at hand? I assume he is, but we'll see. But I'm not in love with this Patriots defense. They don't generate a, a ton of pressure on the opposing team's quarterback. You can run on the New England Patriots. You can throw on the Patriots. Now you have to pick your spots because this is a talented Patriots secondary, but you can throw because you'll have ample time to get it done. My choice, if you're going to attack someone, it should be Malcolm Butler. That being said, Delaney Walker is the best target the Titans have. So that means Patrick Chung's going to have his work cut out for him. He's one of the better man-to-man -man covering safeties in this league. So he's going to have to be key in this game if you're going to grind that chi or excuse me, Titans offensive attack to a halt. Because really, it's Delaney Walker, it's... Um, Eric Decker, and then it's the rest of those guys. Now, of course, the Titans want to run the football. It's what they do best. It's their identity. It opens up play action fake and everything else that they do offensively. If you're the Patriots, your first, your first goal in this game, first priority, your chief priority should be stopping the run. No uh, DeMarco Murray, so no two-headed monster, simply have to deal with Derrick Henry, and he's a load to bring down and deal with. However, if you can corral him, and he, the key to stopping Derrick Henry is to stop him before he gets started. He's like a locomotive. Once he builds up steam, forget about it, okay? The guy is going to drag tacklers. He's going to run through arm tackles, and hell, if you're not careful, he'll run by tacklers because once he gets to top speed, the guy has speed. Few people catch him from behind, and this is going back to his college days, and I haven't seen many in the National Football League catch him from behind either. So the key is to stop him before he starts. That's going to be one of the biggest keys to the game, and to me, one of the biggest matchups I'll be focusing in on when the Titans have the football is the run game of the Titans versus this Patriots front seven and their ability to stop the run. You may have to be over aggressive to do so. If they get some good runs early, you may have to bring an eighth defender into the box to help you shut down that run game. Don't be too aggressive, however, because Marcus Mariota is at his best in play action. You get over aggressive and nosy all of a sudden. You want to do what the Chiefs did early in that game, which is say, hey, we're not allowing you to get anything over the top. We're keeping everything in front of us and uh, force them to beat you by methodically driving the football down the field, which is what they ultimately were able to do. A lot of it predicated off of the run game. So if you're the Patriots, that's where you're looking to neutralize the Titans is in the run game and Delaney Walker. I've said this a thousand times. Marcus Mariota does his best work throwing the football over the middle of the field. If you can stop Marcus Mariota from throwing the football, play action fake, 
over the middle of the football field, you're going to have a great shot at taking the Titans out of their comfort zone and getting rid of them nice and early in this game. But as they showed you last week, there is no quit in this football team. So even a, a big lead early doesn't mean that the Titans are going to lay down and stay down. You're going to have to put your foot on their throat and crush their larynx if you're looking to come out with the victory, which we know the Patriots are not a foreign to doing. They're very accustomed to getting a team down, kicking them while they're down, and then finally stomping on their throats and crushing them while they're down. We'll see if they can do that in this game. As we go to the Titans, uh, if you're the Titans, I've been waiting, I, I, and I don't usually do this, but I'm going to do this because I think it's imperative that all hands are on deck for the Titans in this game. And because of that fact, I've been waiting, and I've, been, I've, I've said a thousand times, Adoree Jackson is going to break one this season. I've said it, and I've been waiting. And he had one that went to the crib. It was called back due to a penalty. But he's been so close this season. And I swear, there's one in there somewhere. Now's the perfect time. There, would, there couldn't be a better time for him to pull one out of the hat and, and get a return. And, and even if it doesn't go for a touchdown, you sure could use a big pick-me-up in the returns game um, from a Dory Jackson. Uh, a big return um, whether it sets up a touchdown, it is a touchdown, or it just gets you in a scoring range, you can use all the help you can get in this football game. So I think special teams is going to be huge. Uh, you're going to need Ryan Suckup to continue to be outstanding and making everything in sight. Uh, you're going to need special teams to be down there making tackles and keeping the Patriots from getting any kind of advantage uh, on special teams. Look, they don't need any of your help anywhere else. You're going to have to limit the penalties. You had some boneheaded penalties last week that almost cost you uh, like the um, penalty um, when the Chiefs were punting the football, you were offsides or you ran into the kicker, actually, and they were going to get a first down, but they had a, a boneheaded penalty of their own in the gate. You're running into the kicker. None of those can happen in this game. You're not good enough against the Patriots team that is well-versed in destroying teams that want to destroy themselves. So uh, they will sit back and allow you to self-destruct, and then they'll pour more gasoline on that fire and watch you explode. So um, if you're the Titans, not only do you need special teams to step up and make a big play, but you can't have any boo-boos and mistakes on special teams. And that goes across the board on defense. You had a brain fart last week, right before the half. Uh, your cornerback that was in the game allowed a, a receiver right before the half behind him and, and the safety didn't get over there in time enough to make a play. He misses a tackle at the two-yard line and allows uh, Robinson to walk into the end zone. You can't have any of those brain farts. Those can't happen in this game. Um, you can't allow Brandon Cooks. Treat Brandon Cooks like you treat, uh, treated Tyreek Hill last week. Extreme speed, a guy that can beat you over the top. Don't allow it to happen. Make sure you keep everything in front of you. No cheapies for this Patriots team. Make them be methodical. We know they can be. Make them do it anyway. You never know what could happen. A batted ball gets picked off. They have a holding penalty that derails a drive. Anything can happen. Make them earn whatever they get. Uh, the key uh, on defense, again, rattle Brady. That's going to be your first goal in this game. And to me, that's your main objective is to get to Tom Brady because he's the key. You cut the head off, the rest of the body will die. Tom Brady is the heart and soul of this Patriots football team, not just their offense, their entire team. If you get to Brady, the rest of the empire will crumble. He's the foundation for this football team. You get to him, you rattle his cage like the Houston Texans did last year. The only reason the Texans didn't beat the Patriots in this exact same game a season ago is because Brock Osweiler was so god-awful. You don't have that problem. Marcus Mariota is fully capable of taking it to this Patriots defense. And the run game of this Titans team, fully capable of doing what's necessary to give you a shot to win. But you must do your part defensively, and that entails getting to Tom Brady. If you don't, you stand absolutely zero chance of winning this football game. It is imperative that you get to number 12. And if you can't get to Tom TBE, you better be smothering those receivers because we know he's accurate and we know he can put the football wherever he wants. If you don't get to Tom TBE, forget about it. You're not going to have a shot, most likely, at winning this game. From an offensive standpoint, we already know 
what the blueprint is for the, the Titans. It's not going to change from week to week. The opponent doesn't matter. You're going to have to do the same thing. You're not capable right now, the way this team is construct, constructed and the way things are constituted in Tennessee, you're not capable of camouflaging to match what your opponent does well and going to do something else and adjusting. You are who you are at this point of the season. You have to run the football. It is a must. If you don't run the football, again, much like not getting to Tom Brady, you don't stand a chance in this game. The reason you won last week, yes, Marcus Mariota was outstanding in the second half of that game, but the real MVP of the game was Derrick Henry. Let's face it. The man had over 140 yards rushing. Much of it came in the second half. Hell, a ton of it came in the fourth quarter when you needed him most. He was outstanding. You rode his back to a win along with the legs of Marcus Mariota and an occasional throw from Mariota in that game late. Bottom line is, you got to run the football. Running the football sets everything up for this Titans offense. We saw the numbers last week. We saw it all season. Marcus Mariota is better when he's able to stick the football in the belly of the back, pull it out, fake the run, and then throw the football. He is exceptional at that. One of the best in the league at throwing the football on play action fakes. He's great at throwing it over the middle of the field, as I've reiterated numerous times. And he's great at getting the football to his tight ends, mainly uh, and chiefly Delaney Walker. But uh, Decker has stepped up, and of late, They've been getting the football to their rookie, Corey Davis. I want to see more of Corey Davis touching the football, and I wouldn't mind seeing him touch it on some screens because one of his biggest specialties in college, yards after the catch, we saw a little bit of that on a, on a screen in which he was able to get a first down versus the Chiefs. He's got to touch it more. They've got to get him out in space. They've got to do some creative things to get him more involved in this offense. And, and I want to see if the Titans can establish a run early, which allows them to be cre creative and use play action fake to their advantage to make some plays down the field, get some chunk plays, something the Titans didn't really do a week ago. They didn't have a ton of chunk plays in the passing game. A lot of their chunk plays came on the ground, um, even with Mariota using his legs. They need some chunk plays in the passing game, and uh, the way to do that is to run and establish a run early in this ball game. To me, you're going to need – at least one turnover, it'd be great to get a special team. If you don't get a turnover, then you need a big return in the special teams game. You can't afford to turn it over. You can't have any mistakes. You can't have the mistakes you had last week against the Chiefs and expect to win. Mariota can't throw an, uh, a pick in the red zone. Those mistakes will get you beat against a team that is flat out better than you. If you're the Tennessee Titans, you've got to play the game of your life. It's got to be flawless, and you've got to make a couple of exceptional plays. Special teams would be nice, but if you just do it on offense and you rattle the cage of Tom Brady, you've got a shot in this game. Look, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and sugarcoat to you as if I think you've got a shot. I don't think you have a shot. I think you're going to be in this game early, and I think it's going to get away from you. Similar to the Thursday night debacle versus the Pittsburgh Steelers, in which you were right there at halftime. And then the Steelers made a big play in the third quarter to start it, and they just ran away with that football game. Mariota threw a pick six, and things got out of hand. I don't think it's going to be as brutal and ugly as that game turned out to be where you gave up a 40-burger, but I think the game's going to be close. You're going to be right there. Maybe even after three quarters, you're sitting right there in the game, and then the Patriots pull away late. This is my prediction for the game. The same exact score when these two teams met two years ago. And if I'm not mistaken... When you guys met two years ago, Mariota went down to a knee injury right before the half of that game. In the second half, we got all Zach Mettenberger. So if my memory serves me correctly, he hasn't played a full game versus these Patriots. Um, and so I'm looking forward to seeing how he performs against Tom TBE in a head-to-head -head matchup. Should be a lot of fun. Anxious to see how he handles this stage. But um, this is a, a team game, and the defense is going to have to step up and get after Brady. The offense is going to have to make some plays. We'll see if that's able to be done in this football game as the Titans go into the divisional round of the postseason. Uh, for the first time since, what, 2008? The Kerry Collins, Justin Gage, and Chris Johnson season? It's been a while. We'll see how they handle the second round of the postseason. But um, it's Patriots handling business as usual in my, as, in my estimation, and we'll see what happens in this game. Of course, I'm your man, Louis T. Thank you for joining me on this preview and predictions video. If you like what you've seen, there's plenty more where it came from. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video. 
Who do you think is going to win this game and why? Leave it in the comments of this video. I'd love to see who you think and why you think they're going to win this game. I look forward to reading all of your comments. I'm your man, Louis T. Signing off. More breakdowns, preview, and predictions for divisional round of football coming your way. So don't you go anywhere. I'm your man, Louis T. This is the Louis T. Network. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.